Hello guys, welcome to Fire Racer Workshop and this is a quick video that I want to make for the people who want to simulate a circuit just like this which is on my screen right now. This is in ORCAD and we'll be simulating it with PSPY so I've already performed the simulation and I'm just obtaining this beautiful characteristic curve of a diode that's in forward bias. So I've already obtained this graph but some people still want to perform this experiment on Tinkercad so this video is dedicated for those people. This experiment can be easily performed on Tinkercad and I'm just going to show you how you're going to perform it. Okay, so let's just minimize this thing. So I've already opened Tinkercad. So what you're going to do is first of all, you're going to search for power supply. And you want four of these power supplies to obtain a maximum voltage of 100 volts. I'll just show you how you can do this experiment. Then you're just going to need some diode already it's there don't just pick up zener diode we don't need to perform this experiment on zener diode yet so and we're just gonna change the orientation so it's orientated in this way just gonna focus it out a bit just gonna change the orientation of the resistor as well now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the power supplies to one another in series okay so all the power supplies will be in series so we can obtain a maximum of 100 volts through this power supply can power supply network so this will act as a battery kind of thing so we are just connected the negative to positive negative to positive negative to positive so we're gonna obtain a maximum voltage of 120 volts out of this power supply but we already need till 100 volts and each of this power supply is adjustable so let's just keep the voltage at zero first of all for all the power supplies okay then i'm just gonna make some quick connections and what you're gonna obtain essentially is this kind of circuit okay we are also going to import some multimeters so this one is set to ampere and this one is set to voltage and of course you're just going to measure the voltage across this diode using this multimeter and you're going to measure current across the diode that's flowing through the diode with this multimeter and over here also wait for a second yeah okay all the power supply is at zero and we're just going to set it at zero as well and we're going to start the simulation now you can increase the voltage on this power supply so you can take the readings at an increment of one or you can take the readings at an increment of two so what i did was to take the readings first of all at an increment of 0 0.2 then 0 0.4 then 0 0.6 then 0 0.8 and so on up to i went up to two volts and then from two volts i went with an increment of two volts so four six eight and so on so after you have reached 30 volts on the first power supply for example now i've reached 30 volts po uh, potential difference on my first power supply we're going to move to the second power supply and now we can adjust the voltage now first of all we are just going to go to an increment of two so right now we are obtaining 32 volts out of our network and similarly like four six and you're going to note down each and every readings and you can just make an excel sheet for the readings and likewise if you just reach 30 volts on this power supply as well then you're going to move to the next power supply and then just just increase the voltage by a fact like by increments of two etc and then there will be a point when you reach 30 volts on this power supply as well now your power supplies are providing you with 90 volts and there will be a huge potential drop across this resistor and we, we are also measuring the current right now then you're going to move to the fourth power supply and just increase the voltage by an increment of two four and so on and you're just going to obtain all the readings now i've already obtained all the readings for this particular experiment and here are all the readings that i've obtained on my excel sheet so as i told you that i have just like moved in an increment of 0 0.2 up till 2 volts so that i just get a beautiful knee voltage and then i've moved on an increment of 2 volts so this is the power supply voltage and this is the voltage across the diode i've just noted each and every value up till 100 volts so we're just gonna plot a graph with these values so let's just copy these values and I'm going to use an open source software for plotting the graph. So just going to paste the values. And now let's just copy the values for the current as well. And now let's just paste the values and OK. Now you can see we have obtained a beautiful characteristic curve of our diode on our graph and we did it using tinkercad so this is just hell easy to use 
if you also want to use Tinkercad for this particular simulation, you can easily do it. So my purpose for this video was to show you that it's not necessary that you need to use some complicated softwares to obtain a characteristics curve. And of course, in this software, you have like a lot of freedom on choosing that out. For example, this diode, the 1N4007, this is a general purpose diode. Even I use this diode all the time since I guess I was in six. So I've been using this type of diode. So this is a pretty cheap diode as well. This costs about one rupee per piece in India. So, and of course you can just like obtain this, obtain this beautiful characteristics curve with no effort at all you are just gonna put in a bit more effort if you're gonna simulate this circuit using Tinkercad but the effort is worth it at least you gotta see what exactly are you doing in this circuit because in this type of simulation software you don't exactly get to know what exactly you are doing so and if you want me to show you how to make this circuit and how to simulate it and all so i can also make a video on that so thanks you thanks to all for watching and i'm just gonna show you this graph again so over here you can see we are just how beautiful this graph is looking and that's why we took a bit more readings over here because the current values will just increase by a lot like for example for if we move if we moved at the increment of 0.2 volts so that's why i just took it at an increment of 0.2 volts over here so anyways thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video bye